A very good morning. This is Ruhani on the behalf of Matrix Technologies, welcoming you all to the learning session of North Commerce. North Commerce is an open source e-commerce platform which is powered by the Microsoft ASP.NET and MS SQL database. In our video today, we are going to learn that how can we add or manage the products in a North Commerce store. So let's step ahead. Here we can see the admin panel of North Commerce. On the left hand side, we need to go to this catalog. Under this, we need to fetch this tab of categories. Let's click on this. Clicking on this, we get this present screen having all the categories of your online store. Okay. However, we can create a new one with the stop right button of add new. We need to assign the categories to the products for an effectual inventory management. Okay. In case you have a huge list of categories, you can search a category with a specific store with the help of the search facility. You can also import or export the product categories from the buttons of export and import in XML or Excel formats. For instance, we say our store will be selling the sporting goods. So let us create a new category for supporting goods with this add new button. Click on this. This will take us to this present screen which is having all the fields we need to create for our desired category. Not commerce. Here we can see this have a very handy toggle button of switch between the basic and advanced features. Just try it few times and you will realize that it hides many fields and the SEO tab when the basic is active and when advanced is toggled, it will unveil many advanced fields which are not generally used. Okay. Getting back to the basic switch, we are starting off with the name. Right. Next, we are having is the description for the category, which can be highlighted well with the different fonts and the layouts which are given in this editor. Here, we are going to give a one line description as Sporting goods are available at the most economical price. <laughs> Next, we are going to have is the picture, right? This jumping ahead, we have the option to upload the picture, which we need to assign to our product category. Here, I'm going to get the one which I've already saved on my desktop. This one is good. That's it, okay? Next, we are having is the parent category, which we need to assign from the given drop down list. Okay, in case the category which you are creating is a subcategory. Okay, but anyhow, I'm going to select this as a none in my instance because the category we are creating is a main category. Okay, and then we have this display order the order of displaying the categories. The category which is displayed as one will be on the top of the list. So, for our instance, we are going to keep it as one as well. And now, save all the data entered so far with this top right button of save. This will direct us to the following page where our newly added category, we can see that here. Right? Newly added category as per our specific requirements. Right? Now, in case of the advanced features, give me a moment. Here, when I toggle it to the advanced, we see many fields like price ranges shown on the home page including in top menu the page size option giving the discounts limited to customer roles you want to get it done for the register or guest customers or all the customers limited to the stores publish etc these all the fields are however self-explanatory but you can ask for any sort of assistance on nop at the rate of metrictech.net or you can contact us at 855-370-5570. I repeat it again, 855-370-5570 or NOP, not at the rate of metridtech.net. I hope this session was helpful for you. Do leave your feedback 
and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.